yo, 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 what's up? Uh, I want to do a review on my C6 LG OLED, okay? Uh, I just want to do a review on the bright level of it because everybody said that it's a dark picture. And um, the, the, they're saying it's blue screen, dark picture, and the, you know, TV is not looking good compared to the QLEDs and the uh, LCDs and uh, 4K TVs and stuff like that. So I just want to show y'all a video or something how bright uh, the TV can get. It is an OLED. It don't get as bright as the LCD, but it's pretty bright, you know. So I'm going to give you a little show right now. Okay. Put that there. Zoom in a little bit. Hmm. I'm going to start it. I'm going to play this one right here. This little LG video. And we should be able to see and adjust this camera. Get it going. Should be about right there. As you can see, the uh, parakeet eating the little leaves off the tree. It's a very beautiful picture. Um, it's pretty bright from what I can see. I don't know if it's showing like this through the camera, but it is pretty bright. I have the, uh, the settings on uh, HDR high, and you adjust that as you can see. Screen changes you stand I had on high for the darkness but on lower get even brighter I believe I had a sentence for let me see it's the artifact the brightness is just set to uh, 50 hmm. well, okay it's a beautiful thing Best thing since sliced bread. I know they go. Um, they got the AK out in Japan or whatever like that. But you know they need to let the 4K settle in first before we start going to AK. They need to master uh, the 4K first before we get into the AK game. You know, get the HDR completely perfect and we got ourselves something. What I don't like is that the fact that, see, this is a 3D TV. I don't like the fact that they are trying to take away 3D. 3D. I know 3D is not for everybody, but for the people that do like 3D, I think they need to leave it. I don't think they need to make a broad decision for everybody in the world because some people still like 3d you know it's not for everybody but it is for some people what do you have to make separate tvs and stuff like that you know just do something for the people that love the 3d and everything and something for the people that don't love it something for the people that like the soap opera fat i'm one of them i love the soap opera fat and for some people who don't they like the way the movie theaters uh screen look which it looks nice to, you know, uh, so, uh, select a group of people. People like the uh, traditional look of the way the movie looks. But to me, when it's the soap opera fact, it, it gives this sense of realistic realism. And uh, it just puts me more in the picture as if I am the director and the cameraman filming the movie myself. And I love to see it like that. And it's just... That's really what blows everybody away when they come and look at the TV that haven't seen it before. When they come see your soap opera fat on um, just a basic movie or something like that, it blows a lot of people mad. And, and you know, once you start to go with the soap opera fat and get used to it, you can't go back to the regular uh, traditional looking looks of the TV. 
So for me, Soap Opera Fat, my buddy Soap Opera Fat, uh, when they came out with the movie uh, Billy Lynn, uh, Long Halftime Walk, something like that, it's, it was shot at 60 frames per second, 4K, very beautiful movie. And it hurt a lot of people's heads, I mean eyes and stuff like that, the camera and it was so clear and stuff like that. But I love movies like that. I wish they made all the movies like that, if you ask me. They should give people an option. Make a movie the traditional way for people who like that. That way, they're happy. And make the soap opera effect version of it for people who likes that, you know, with the 3D and all. You know, and everybody's happy. And then Samsung stopped making 3D. Vizzy, I think Vizzy will stop. Uh, I'm not sure about Sony, but they're probably going to stop. And now LG have even stopped making 3D. So if anything happens to my TV, I'm going to be fucked. Because now I'm going to have to get a fucking three, uh, TV. Uh, excuse my language. Get a TV that's not going to support the 3D. And I'm going to be pissed. All these 3D movies that I have. There, yeah, Blu-rays, all that. So I'm not feeling that. They need to get it together. Just don't make it for everybody, you know. That is one beautiful TV. The C6 OLED. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I went to Best Buy. I should uh, took my camera up there and, uh, you know, recorded the QLEDs. It's a very nice looking TV. Don't get me wrong. I love. That's a very nice looking TV too. But I love my black levels of this old lady. You know, it's just you know once I get the black levels like this, I can't really do the other things like that. Now I do have another 4K TV as well. It's in my bedroom. It's another 65 inch LG 4K t television. It's just not an old lady. Now nah, that's a really really bright TV in there. And, you know, I like black levels, you know. I like color. I like black levels. This is a natural color. It's a beautiful picture. And, uh, you know, it's a slight curved screen. You can't really tell about the curve or whatever. But I wish it was flat. But, you know, this is the one that uh, I didn't want that sound bar for the E6 or the G6. You know, this, this one is perfect for me. I like that bezel is staying over there. It's like it's floating in the air. Damn. Okay. Now, as I'm zooming in, I'm looking through my camera. It looked like the bird fellas <clears throat> was blue. But it's not that color. It's because of the, uh, the OLED screens have like a red tint on it. And it uh, it makes it coming through the camera look like that it's blue. See, this bird is, is like gray. It's not really blue like that, you know. See, in person, you can see the, the bird will be like like a uh, off white or something like that. It's not blue looking like that. It's just that my camera's filming on it make it look like it's blue because of the OLED screen has some red tint to have the anti glare. So it wouldn't, you know, be so glary when you're filming your movies or anything like that. Which is a good thing, but it don't really look blue like that. Um, and this is a beautiful picture. Because as you can see, I have my lamp on right here. And you, you don't see any glare on that picture, you know. That's because of that burgundy tint whatever they put on it. A lot of people don't like that, but if it's going to stop the glare, then it's nice, you know. And like I said, the lights are on in the house to, you know, watch the movie. I mean, watch TV or the movie with, and uh, it look good in the light and the dark. Only it's not just only for the dark, but if I turn the light off, um, now we're in the dark. And it looks good in the dark or the brightness, you know. But I'm looking through the camera, so I don't know how bright it's looking, but what I'm looking at, when I'm looking at the TV, is is pretty bright. And I only had a color on 50. You know, you can always adjust the, uh, the brightness. Sorry, 
if you can put, you can adjust a, you can adjust the brightness and make it even brighter if you choose to. But I don't like all that bright shit like that. You know, it's just fine to me. Like I got on fifty, you put on something like sixty. This look ugly. I don't even know why people would like that. I know I'm keep it at fifty or below. Yeah, it look a little bit different coming through the camera, but in real life, it's a very beautiful picture. You're just a sitting, you know, person when you go check out the old legs. But anyway, that's it for this. I um, just want to chit chat a little bit about this. And, uh, you know, if you like it, just give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. You know, leave a comment. I'll respond back to you later.